A medical breakthrough occurred on January 7, 2022. Surgeons successfully transplanted a genetically engineered pig heart into a living person for the first time. David Bennett is doing well two weeks later, with his heart beating and maintaining his life. The procedure makes xenotransplantation, or the transplantation of organs from one species to another, a reality. It's a watershed moment that paves the way for more people to get animal organs, possibly saving hundreds of thousands of lives and alleviating donor organ shortages. For the time being, it's simply a single case. Technical and ethical issues still abound with the technology. However, scientists expect that by closely monitoring Bennett, they will be able to have access to a wealth of hitherto untapped data that will benefit future Xeno transplants. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you how the emergence of organ transplants could be a huge first step into reversing the aging process and bettering our health spans. Make no mistake, Xeno transplants are taking off after decades of turbulence, whether you call it a Pandora's box or a medical marvel. Bennett isn't a one-of-a-kind character. Big participants in the industry are looking for clinical trials and have already started constructing clinic-grade facilities to produce pigs that fulfill the FDA's stringent requirements. Here's how the team pulled it off. Xeno transplantation has had a long and winding road. The concept was first conceived in the 1960s, but due to its enormous complexity, it sat dormant for decades. For starters, there's no guarantee that an animal organ would match a human recipient, as is the case with most transplants. This causes a violent immunological storm, which destroys the organ while also causing damage to the host. Animal viruses, which are tolerated by donor pigs but cause havoc in human cells, are another source of concern. Some of these are difficult to eradicate. Take, for example, PERVs, porcine endogenous retroviruses, which are buried in pig DNA and must be precisely plucked out by gene editing. For years, scientists experimented with genetic alterations to make a pig heart more compatible with a human chest. What is the issue? CRISPR, or CRISPR-Sas9, is a Xeno transplant enthusiasts now have a tool to test out their beliefs thanks to the gene editor's accuracy. The field had taken off. A life science startup, eGenesis, revealed in 2015 that it has modified 62 regions of the pig genome responsible for immunological rejection and infections. Pig hearts that had been genetically modified were shortly implanted into baboons, allowing them to live for almost six months. The million-dollar issue remained, however, will it work on humans? Non-human primates aren't suitable examples because their immune systems aren't the same as ours. We received our first response in 2021. Two persons who were legally dead and lacked brain function received a kidney developed in a substantially genetically altered pig. While the patients remained on life support, the kidneys continued to function regularly for more than 50 days. A recent case with a similar theme had promising, though mixed, results. Dr. Mohamed Mohiuddin, a pioneer in Xeno transplants, has been working for years to achieve a successful pig to human transplant. David's surgery was performed by the chief surgeon at the University of Maryland Medical Center, who had previously requested FDA clearance for a clinical experiment. He was turned down. The FDA was concerned about the provenance of the genetically modified pigs, therefore they were had to originate from a clinic-grade facility. Mohi Yudin then met Bennett. Bennett, who was 57 years old at the time, had been on life support for about two months. He was ineligible for a human heart transplant due to untreated high blood pressure and other health issues. Bennett offered the surgeon's team permission to apply to the FDA for compassionate use authorization for a pig heart transplant since his health was fast deteriorating. It was either die or do this transplant, says the patient. I'd like to live. I realize it's a long shot, but it's my final resort, Bennett added. Revivacor, a Virginia-based business that has been designing pig organs for over two decades, gave the heart. The organ survived up to nine months in multiple studies for pig to baboon transplants, until the animals died of a lung illness unrelated to the transplant. The heart had a total of 10 significant genetic changes. Three of them eliminated sugar molecules that trigger an immunological response on the exterior of cells. 6 increased the likelihood that the human host would accept the heart by boosting an anti-inflammatory response, avoiding blood vessel damage, and neutralizing any anti-organ antibodies. 
Finally, the size of the pig heart was reduced in the final revision. Although it was around the same size as a human heart, the scientists intended to avoid the pig organ overgrowing inside Bennett's chest after transplantation, something they had seen in baboons. The next problem was determining how to maintain the pig's heart healthy after it had been removed. Once deprived of blood and oxygen, heart failure develops quickly, and maintaining the organs healthy and working has been a significant headache, pun intended. Mohi Yudin used a technique devised by Dr. Stig Steen of Lund University in Sweden. The heart is removed and immersed in a bubbling, circulating bath of hormones, nutrients, and cocaine. The third component of the trifecta was immunosuppressants. Bennett was kept on a high dose of anti-CD40, a new antibody medicine, despite his genetic modifications, to suppress his immune system. In comparison to prior generations, the medication acts as a master switch, shutting down antibody synthesis while also disrupting immune cell communication. The body's capacity to mount a concerted attack against the new organ is nullified as a result. The 10 changed genes are beneficial, but I believe the anti-CD40 antibody, which has been my primary emphasis throughout my career, is the game-changer. Bennett is in good shape. Scientists aren't sure how long the heart will last, but they're keeping a close eye on its function as well as Bennett's immunological reaction. They're also trying to keep him away from any potential infection sources. Bennett, on the other hand, has a lot to give as a live pioneer of xenotransplants. Experts concur that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to customize an organ for people rather than baboons, as has been the case in past experimental studies. It's crucial to pin down those reactions since people have significantly more antibodies that might target the pig organ than baboons have. Another unanswered concern is how a pig heart would function in a human body. A pig's resting heart rate, according to one estimate, is around 90 beats per minute, which is in the high range for a healthy human heart. The possibility of an increase in xenotransplants in the future has reignited an ethical debate. Is it ethical to raise pigs for what are effectively human replacement organ parts? Pigs, although being a prominent food source, are remarkably clever creatures with no say in the process, unlike human organ donors. What if there were other options available, such as 3D printed organs? For the time being, the technology is still quite experimental and hazardous. Failure might result in a painful death, as shown in a prior tragic event. Bennett will also be the first to be exposed to porcine viruses, which the team is constantly monitoring. Another hot topic is who should be granted access or put first on a xenotransplant waiting list. People in need of a kidney transplant, for example, may usually be put on dialysis while they wait for a human donor organ. It's a long and arduous procedure. Is this, however, enough to warrant the risks of an animal transplant? A long wait, according to Dr. Jeremy Chapman, a retired transplant surgeon at the University of Sydney, isn't enough to warrant clearance. Bennett received the operation and was fully advised of the dangers since it was his only chance of survival. Should the same rule apply to others in the future? We won't have to wait long for a response. The game is still dominated by Revivacor. The business is already hard at work on a new FDA-approved clinic-grade facility to double pig production, with plans to open in 2023. Others are chasing after it. eGenesis, for example, is working to solve the PERV problem by genetically altering pigs so that they can't transmit the virus to humans. Nizano raises pigs for kidney transplantation. The operation represents a watershed moment, even though many doubts remain. This is a very historic and significant step forward. So, what is your opinion on organ transplants being able to increase a person's general health and potentially rejuvenate other parts of the body through the increase efficiency? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.